Are you looking for how to implement dynamic arrays? Then this is a video for you guys. So uh, why we need dynamic arrays first of all? Okay, because we know that array size is always constant. That means uh, when you create an array, you will give uh, five elements or six elements by default values you will give. Okay, and you you do all the operations. But when you want to in a real time way, you know that you don't know the exact values how many are coming. Then how we can do that? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the same thing. So let me introduce myself. I'm Karthik. Usually upload a video three times a day on it is on monday wednesday and friday so if you're new here consider subscribing to my channel okay friends so i have taken one small uh, small uh, empty sequence here so what i'll be doing is uh, here let me take something called ar as array type okay array of integers this is a static one and default values what i'll be doing is default 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 i'm adding okay so for this existing thing uh what i'll do is like apart from this i'll add uh, a few other as well something like few other elements as well dynamically for that what i'll do is i'll take another one called list one object of list type i'll take okay so go here type list here list and uh, take from uh, list yeah system collection generic list of integer type okay this list i'll convert into the array into uh, our targeted array so what i'll do is tr of a of and i'll create array of this one of this uh, okay so my target is target array which will be dynamically add the values will get the values from ar as well as list and some other values okay so uh, to get each and every value what i will be doing from the already existing array what i will be doing is i'll use a for each loop here and this is af and item will be of type integer because it's an integer array okay now what i'll do is since i have taken a list there i'll try to do something like this uh, add add to collection yes this function i'll try to get it of type argument 32 item is item collection is my list object okay this i have got it so in the end i'll try to see how many um how many elements are there in the list how many elements will be there i should have five elements because i am getting the i'm just trying to get the values of array objects okay that is of ar type okay so uh list right list one dot to get the count to string cool so let me get the count so i started running the bot mm, that's not initialized properly okay so i face this issue what i'll do is i'll try to initialize it here cool no problem list na so list one is equal to new um, this is list na Give me a second. Now mm -hmm. cut on the new list of new list of here of integer. Let me take something like this. Half integer cut on it. This getting confused here. So let me try to execute it. What happens? So yes we got it we got the values why that is correct only so then what we can do is since we have these values what i'll do here is i'll take as an activity here here list one dot 
two away. I'll convert into two away of target one. Okay. Then target underscore away dot count. Now I'll just try to see how many elements are there in a target away. You should have five as we have it in list. Now you can see we got the five and let me try to add some values dynamically here. Add add to collection image here. Let me take properties. Uh, collection is list one. Type is uh, type is integer and item is let me give two. Okay. Then I should have uh, more elements. So I should be getting six, I guess. Now you can see we got the data dynamically. So however elements you have, you just add them to the collection. Then you try to convert that to the array. That way you can achieve this dynamical, dynamically you can achieve this dynam uh, array type. So I hope this informative guys and please do subscribe to my channel for more videos.